This is Science for Smart Minds, and I'm your host, Gottfried. Welcome. In the previous episode, we came into conclusion that while science seeks to find out how and why certain things exist in nature, or to find out the laws of nature, technology seeks to what? Actualize scientific facts. In other words, technology seeks to what? Produce tools and machines to make life easier for mankind. This is where we ended in the previous lesson. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check out, learn that, and I'll put this link also in the description section of that lesson. So as soon as you finish with that, you can click on that and then come back here. Good. So getting to this end, I want us to discuss some of the forms of technology so that it will embroaden or enlighten our knowledge of what science and technology. Now let's talk about some of the forms of technology. Can you give me some of the examples of forms of technology that you see around? I think you can give a number of them. We have television, we have the internet, we have the landline phones. I have some here, a landline phone. We have the mobile phone or the cellular phone, computers, and even some types of medical technology, such as incubators, stethoscope, pacemakers, ventilators, computer tomography scanners, that is CT scanners, surgical robots, and even simple tools like thin cutters, bottle opener, and so on and so forth are all forms of what? Technology. Or are all types of what? Technology. Why am I saying that? Because all of these came as a result of what? Practical application of scientific knowledge. Or scientific discovery. And that is what? Technology. Let's explain further. Let's take, for example, the landline phone or the landline telephone. The landline telephone works on scientific knowledge that voice, eh, when you speak, voice can be turned into what? Sound waves. And sound waves can also be turned into what? Electrical energy, which can then travel through a wire to another phone. And as soon as it gets into the another phone, that electrical energy is converted back to what? Sound waves for the person at the receiving end to hear your voice. And in fact, the process is repeated when the person at the other end also speaks. It gets back to you for you to hear a sound going through the same process. So you see, Landline phone is also what? A form of what? Technology. Because it is making use of what? Scientific knowledge or scientific laws. If you also take the cellular phone or the mobile phone, look at this. This one that I'm using. Yeah, there is a mobile phone. If we take that one also, it's a form of what? Technology. Why are we saying that? It also works under scientific laws. Or it, it came as a result of what? Practical application of scientific knowledge. For instance, if you take your mobile phone, as soon as you speak into the microphone, the microphone converts our voice into electrical signals. And then these signals are sent into the microchip in the phone. And then this microchip also converts the signals into radio waves. And the radio waves are transmitted to a nearby cell mast or cell tower, which also sends your voice in the form of what? Electromagnetic waves to the one that you are calling and vice versa. I mean, when the person that you are calling also speaks, it goes through the same process to reach you. So these are some of the forms of technology that we have. 
getting to this level, can you now give more examples of forms of technology? Let me see your examples or your answers in the comment section. By the way, this has been what? Science for Smart Minds. And I'm your host or your teacher, Gottfried. Check the next video for differences between science and technology. Until then, adios.